Haywood, A-L-A-N-H-A-Y-W-O-O-D, Captain, Arizona Department of Public Safety. We're at about 0, 1, 4, uh, 0, 3, 43 hours this morning. Um, Interstate um, 10, mile post 129, which is in between Dysart and uh, Litchfield Road. We had um, a couple of vehicle, uh, vehicle that was uh, reported racing, um, spun out. It was a S a S10 pickup truck, black in color, spun out on the roadway, came to rest blocking the left lanes of traffic, at which point a witness arrived on scene, uh, tried to attempt to help the driver egg, um, push the vehicle off to the left, at which point another vehicle then struck the rear of that S10 pickup, uh, which caused that S10 pickup to, to spin out, go into the median and catch fire. The driver of that S10 pickup was seriously injured in that, in that collision um, and uh, was transported to El Brazo Medical Center, uh, West Valley, with serious injuries. The uh, driver of the other vehicle, which was reported as a silver Volkswagen uh, Jetta, um, initially stayed on scene but then fled the scene. Uh, we're looking for a Hispanic male uh, between 5'9", 180, about approximately 180, 180 pounds, uh, wearing white shirt, blue jeans, tennis shoes, um, that we reported fled south of Interstate 10. So if we do have anybody that uh, we see matching that prescription in the general area, or if you have any information about this collision, please contact the Department of Public Safety at the duty office or um, by calling 911. Starts at about Dysart and uh, not sure what that next exit is. Uh, Litchfield Road. Litchfield Road. Uh, what's the estimated time for the investigation? Well, we have our criminal investigators coming out to the scene because it's a hit and run and the potentially for very serious injuries. Um, we have the uh, we have our vehicular crimes unit coming out to uh, assist with measurements and do the criminal investigation. So we're looking at uh, a multiple hour closure of the scene. It could be between two or three hours or maybe longer.